Welcome to the pre-conference workshop on how to attend a conference. Why a pre-conference video on this topic? Well, sometimes when people are talking about going to conferences, they talk about the fact that it's like drinking water from a fire hydrant. There's just so much stuff coming at them at a short period of time. And other times people go to a conference and then they come back from the conference and they really don't do anything with what they heard. This around 10 minute video is designed to help you and your church get the most out of not just the church ministries conference, but any ministry related conference that you and other members of your church might attend. My name is Dave Rogers. I have the privilege of serving as one of the pastors at Trinity Baptist Church here in Grand Rapids. And I also have the privilege of serving on the planning committee for this year, 2023's uh, church ministries conference. I want to provide an easy to follow outline for this short video. The first point is prayerful planning. The second point is prayerful going. And the third point is prayerful sharing. This outline is filled with prayer because frankly, we need it. We need God to be working in our ministries. We need to be trusting in him. At the end of Paul's prayer in Ephesians 3, he says this, now to him who is able to do far more abundantly beyond all that we ask or think, according to the power that works within us, to him be the glory in the church and in Christ Jesus to all generations forever and ever. Amen. We need to do God's ministry in God's strength for God's glory. And hopefully this video will be a, a help in that. So before the conference, do some prayerful planning. Pray that your church would strive to know God more and more and more and to make him known to others also. Pray for the conference. Pray for those who are teaching at and planning the conference and the different workshops. I pray that God would use the conference to help your church and other churches to make disciples of Jesus Christ. And then pray for the church. Pray for the church in Grand Rapids. Pray for the church in Mich Michigan. And pray for the church around the world. Just as the Church Ministries Conference provides opportunities uh, to encourage and help churches, may your church encourage and help other churches and gospel ministries. Before the conference, look through the many workshops listed in the brochure there are over 70 of them. And if you are the only one going to the conference from your church, I want to encourage you to look through there, find some workshops that maybe spark your interest and some workshops that you look at and you go, my church needs this. Um, if you're going with a group of people, I want to challenge you to look through the, the different workshops offered each session and then divide and conquer. There might be a lot of different topics that might be helpful for your church. Send some people to one, send some people to another one. And while the conference is a good time for your uh, church members to connect and to be there together, it's also a great time to connect with and learn from other people and ministries and churches. Don't underestimate this great time to connect with people and to be with them and to share with them. Don't let the 70 plus workshops at the Church Ministries Conference overwhelm you. Pick something that will help you and your church and realize that you will not be able to do everything. Now, while this is specific to the, com the Church Ministries Conference, it's also something to be aware of at any conference you go to. You can't do everything, but make sure you do something. Now, on the day of the conference, prayerfully go. As you think about what to pray on the day of the conference, pray for those you'll sit with, you'll eat with, and you'll connect with. Pray that you will be an encouragement to others and that you will be encouraged by others. Now, regarding the workshop, just want to remind you to work the plan that you and your church went through. But do that with some flexibility. 
understanding that not everything's going to work out the way that you planned. Also, remember the people that you connect with. And when I say that, I mean you may need to write down names of people that you connected with and contact information or get a card from them or put it into your phone. But remember them so that you can pray for them and that you can connect with them after the conference. Now, there's several general sessions, not just at the church ministries conference, but at any conference. Use these general sessions as a common theme for ministry encouragement and help. During these big sessions, remember to the big ideas. Not necessarily try to get down every single quote or every single uh, point that was made, but remember the big ideas so that you can use them to help you and your church and, and your ministry. Lunchtime is not just a time to eat. It provides a time to be re-energized, and it provides a time to talk with people about the conference and what they're learning, but it also provides you an opportunity just to connect with people. You might not even talk about the conference, but you might just connect with someone and find out a little bit about them and get to know another ministry, another church. Finally, also be sure to make the most of the time to visit the exhibitors. Now, there are many benefits in going and visiting the exhibitors. Many of them have free stuff, pens, candy, even some booklets and things like that. But even more than the free stuff, this gives you an opportunity to get to know ministries that you might not know about at all, or it gives you an opportunity to reconnect with ministries and learn a little bit more about them. Another benefit is seeing some things that are offered in, with the different uh, exhibitors. Seeing those things might spark an idea in your own mind for your church. And then finally, you have a great opportunity to encourage various ministry workers. Bottom line, on the day of the conference, be at the conference and make your best effort to get something from each part of the conference, whether that's the workshops, the general sessions, the lunchtime, or even the going to see the exhibitors. Get something from the conference. Finally, after the conference, prayerfully share with others. One way to share is to pray for the people that you met and connected with at the conference. And then you can let them know how you prayed for them. You should also be praying for your church and other churches um, and pray that they would be able to take the things that they learned at the conference and use it for God's glory in their church and that you would use the things that you learned in your church. Take time to talk with others about some of the things that you learned at the conference. And be sure to do this sooner than later. As you share things that you learned from the conference, remember there are some specific things that you heard at the conference that might not fit your specific ministry setting. Your goal should not be to do what other churches are doing. It should be to glorify God and help the people that God has at your church to worship him and to love others. The conversations you have should focus on your church doing things for God's glory. Whether these things that you're doing right now um, need to continue, they need to be improved, or they may even need to be stopped, you need to have those conversations as it relates to your ministries. A conference speaker or a workshop leader is not responsible for the people that God brings to your church. The purpose of this conference, and really any conference, should not be cloned churches. It should be about making Christ-like disciples. Lovingly and prayerfully share what you and other attendees were challenged by and what you learned at the conference. Seek to have loving, prayerful conversations with church leaders about the, the ministries of the church for God's glory and not your own preferences. Thank you for being part of this 
short how to attend a conference workshop. There are many other things that we could have talked about uh, during this time, but hopefully this provides a starting point for you and your church to get the most out of this conference and any other conference. It's my prayer that as you go from here, you would understand and you would be able to see what God is doing in you and through you and through your church. May we have a desire to see him glorified as we make disciples.